Welcome to the Soundevo, and thanks for purchasing the WS66i Whole Home Audio System. Today, we're going to walk you through the new Soundevo WS66i Control app. This video demonstrates the functionality of the new WS66i Control app with Android or iOS smartphone or tablet device, including how to set up the WS66i Whole Home Audio Amplifier with your network, adjust the input sources, zone selection, streaming your favor online music radio station over the Wi-Fi, and more. Check out how the WS66i Control app looks and works in this walkthrough and live demo. This is the app you would get if you have the new WS66i amplifier installed. The WS66i needs to be connected to the internet router through the CAT5 or CAT6, Ethernet cable as hardwire connection. The Ethernet cable needs to be connected to the Ethernet LAN port connector on the top side. And make sure the switch between minus 232 rupees and Ethernet that you select to Ethernet position. For beginning to set up the WS66i amplifier with your local network is that you can use the IP scanner app to find the IP address of the WS66i unit. Once the IP scanner finished the searching, you will see three devices ID name related to the WS66i. Those two with under dash are belong to built-in Wi-Fi music streamer of the amplifier. You can simply ignore them. The one we need to focus on is the one shown, WS66i, only. This will be the one we need to use the IP address for connecting to the network. But sometimes the first one WS66i will not appear, it depends on the mass production version, and will shown something like Equitech Industrial instead. Since the WS66i built-in Ethernet module is belong to the dynamic network type, so the IP address of the WS66i will be automatically provided from your local internet router. Means the IP address of the unit will be changed depends on the local network. Once you found the WS66i, or Equitech Industrial, device on the IP scanner list, simply click it and see what IP address shown. Once you install the WS66i app from the Apple or Google Play Store, you will need to set up the network connection between the WS66i amplifier and the control app for the data communication when you open the app at the first time. As you can see from the screen, the source icon shown in blank, means the app on your control device is in offline status. Now, click the setup icon on the top right corner of the app. Then choose the connect info will bring you to the network setup page. For the WS66i network connection, you can either choose the manual setup or the auto scan option. The factory default will be the manual setup, which is what we always recommend. On the manual setup page, enter the IP address you found earlier from the IP scanner app. When you finish typing the IP address, Press OK and back to the main UI window of the app. If the IP address has been entered correctly, the WS66i amplifier should be connected to your network immediately. Then you will see the source name will show up on each six zones window as the online status that allow to control the WS66i from the app. If you choose to use the auto device IP scan option for the network connection, simple press the searching icon and the built-in Ethernet module will start to find the WS66i device under your network automatically. During the searching process, since the scanner expects a range of IP addresses as a parameter to the search, you will see the list of unused addresses. It might take few seconds to find and connect it to the WS66i device that under your network. The auto device IP scanner will be stopped once the WS66i device has been found.
When you back to the main UI window, you will also see the source name will show up on each 6 zones window as the online status. the WS66i is first installed and connected to the local network, the zones are numbered. You will want to give them names that you recognize. Press the setup icon on the right top corner of the app, and select, zone naming, page, it will allow you to custom the name of each zone. For example, you can name the zone 1 for living room. Zone 2 for kitchen. Zone 3 for office. Or something else like. Patio. Bedroom. And garage. Then back to the main UI window. You can always rename for each source by custom, for example, aim as a CD player for the input source 1, input source 2 for the media player. This should be connected to your external audio device via the RCA connector on the rear panel of WS66i. The source 3 can be set up as the online radio. It will be the one of the built-in Wi-Fi streamer of the WS66i unit. The Source 4 can be the online music station. This also belonged to the built-in Wi-Fi streamer of the WS66i unit. Then the Source 5. Since we are using the Mini Jack TRS connector for this input source connection, so you could connect the external MP3 player device to the WS66i for the audio music playback. If you would like to connect your smart TV via the optical cable as digital audio transmission, then the Source 6 will be the best choice. Once you set those new name for each sources, then you will not confuse when you select the audio source with. Of course, it is just the example to show how to set up input source and name the device, you can always custom something else based on your personal setup application. On the new version of the main WS66i control app UI, you can set the amplifier as all zone off, all zone on, active each zone for select the on or off status, adjustment each zone's volume, and choose the input source individually without opening the second window. You also can press the any individual zone icon for more option. For example, once we open the zone 1 window, you can active or mute on this specific zone. Adjust the zone volume, bass, treble by press the plus or minus sign. And balance also can be control on this window too. When you select the input source 1, 2, 5 or 6 as the external audio device, you can only see the active or mute function. However, once you select the input source 3 or 4 from the built-in music streamer input for the audio playback, you will see the special stream icon will appear beside the mute symbol. It will bring you to the Soundevo Player Music Streaming app once you press it. On the main WS66i app UI, you will see the round power symbol icon on each zone's control window. If shown in black color, means in this specific zone is in standby mode, and you will not hear any audio music playback until you turn it on to the active mode that shown in orange color. You can also simply press the All Zones On icon then every zones will be in active mode. You will see those six LEDs light on the front panel turned in white color status. 
when press the all zones off, means all zones will be in standby mode and will not provide any audio output. The each zone's LED lights on the front panel will turn into blue color status. Once the mute function is activated, the specific zone's LED display will flash, indicating the mute status is active. To deactivate mute, press the mute button again on the WS66i remote, or disable mute with the WS66i app, so. If you have the no sound output issue on the WS66i amplifier during the operation, please double check see if the specific zones has been turned off, or into the mute status accidentally by selected with app. Each zone's EQ and balance can be adjusted by press the treble, bass balance icon from the app. And the purpose of the balance control is to equalize the output levels at your listening position even when it's not centered between the two main channels of the speakers. For example in the living room, you sit much further away from the speakers and are not always centered between them. Use this balance control to correct the offset, you will restore the stereo image dramatically. The WS66i app also provides a party mode feature where all rooms can mirror the room you are currently in for whole house audio control. WS66i has two Wi-Fi streaming modules built in, you can enjoy Wi-Fi streaming on any or all zones of your WS66i. Your mobile device must be connected to the same network as your WS66i amplifier unit. On input source 3 and 4, with Wi-Fi connection, the Soundevo Player app is available for iOS and Android smartphone or tablet device, it can be downloaded from the Google Play and Apple App Store. Once you open the Soundevo Player app, it will show, searching for your devices, if the WS66i has already been connected with your local Wi-Fi network router, the built-in streamer on the input source 3 and input source 4 will be found automatically as found two devices. On the Soundevo Player, you can rename those two Wi-Fi streamers that matched with your previous setting from the WS66i control app. So now we can change the name to the online radio and online music station, then press finish. In the Soundevo player control window, you can adjust each streamer's volume by slider icon, or select the balance pan of the right, left channel, and the stereo sound output for the audio music playback. You can choose which online music you would like to do the audio playback on each streamer. You also can click the My Music on the application and choose the music files that you already store in the cell phone or tablet device. To use Spotify, you have to own Spotify Premium account. You will find the device in the device list on the Spotify application and choose the device you want to play. As what we mentioned earlier, you can run two streamers at the same time, from the online music service to play the different music on the different zones. Now, we can pick up other online music station, to choose your favorite song and sending the other streamer, then playback through the WS66i. Once the music station has been chosen from the Soundevo player, then go back to the WS66i control app, to select which music source you would like to set up on the specific zone. As you can see through the video, we choose the online music station on the living room, office and patio as the zone 1, zone 3 and zone 4. And play the online radio in the kitchen as the zone 2. For the zone 5 and zone 6, you can play something else from the external audio devices, such as the MP3 player and TV sound output. The WS66i's built-in streamer will be shown in the AirPlay device list, then you can choose which streamer you would like to do the audio playback.
you have an option to add the Soundevo M66EXT expansion amplifier as the slave one to expand other six zone speaker outputs, or add two M66EXT to work as the slave one and slave two for total 18 zones expansion. Once the M66EXT has been connected to the WS66I via the ribbon cable and power on, the slave unit icon will be light on and shown on the app. Then you can also rename those additional 12 zones and make the source selection, volume control and the sound adjustment, just like what you can control the main WS66I master unit. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any question regarding the WS66i Whole Home Audio System, or any of the amplifiers and speakers product, feel free to contact us by email or visit our website for more information.